If this is the first video you're seeing that I've done, which it probably is, or which isn't all that unlikely, uh, I'm draw we're drawing Finding Nemo characters as people. And we're starting with Nemo. Part one is in the eye, so you can catch up to everything and anything I have said up to this point in the video prior to this one. Like I said, it's in the eye. And so I have the light in my head kind of above and coming from the left. So I'm shading it, I like that, and the light I'm having, yellow light, and probably something like daylight. Um, so what I like doing is having the highlights have like the tint of what the light is, and then the shadows having like a tint of the opposite color, so the light is yellow so I like adding some uh, blue to the shading shaded areas and I've recently been drawing a lot of mermaids and mer people and mermen and for those I was actively trying to make the skin look shiny except now I've gotten used to that and I'm trying not to make Nemo look too shiny. I also added just a teeny tiny bit of blush so that his face had some sort of like variety and I did have to like I don't interact a lot with kids. I don't like kids. I am like I am fine with them as long as there is a grown up within the room and that grown up isn't me. I am okay as long as I am not the one in charge of the child and I have an adult there to talk to instead of the kid. I do not want to be playing ball with a little twit for the next three hours. Thank you very much. Can we talk about philosophy instead? I will be very glad to do that. So I had to like, right, a six year old. Is a six year old closer to a toddler or a child? I went with child. <laughs> I was like, I remember being a toddler and I remember being a child, but I don't remember there being much of a difference. I think the main difference between me being a toddler and a child was I was able to, st I, I started being able to reach light switches. Yeah, th that that's pretty much it. You know, that one of the... <laughs> Uh, there was a time where I was doing research for uh, one, of, one of my characters and um, I don't remember exactly what it was but it was one of those things where like it was one of those ones where you know you google how much blood can the human body lose before it dies type thing and and like the autocomplete on google ended with I swear I'm a writer. <laughs> I was like, one, how many people have been searching, looking this up? Two, <laughs> true, accurate, I am. But yeah, um, that was a odd rant. <laughs> I didn't, I realized that when I decided to, you know, pay more attention to the designs. I was like, oh, you have red eyes. You're an orange fish with red eyes interesting and big smiley face and chubby cheeks um, his original design looks like he has chubby cheeks I'm trying to like keep the elements of the fish design because what they've done is they've put like human features on the fish and so their faces have like cheeks and eyebrows and like brow lines and wrinkles and stuff like that so i'm trying to keep the elements that they've given them for each character so uh nemo has like the chubby cheeks and uh 
Marlon has the wrinkles. Dory has freckles, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm trying to keep... I'm trying to translate things as well as I can while adding my own spin. So I've, I put the stripes in with, by giving him a bit, her, 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 giving it, uh, <laughs> I can't speak today, uh, giving uh, it as the design to his t-shirt. I still haven't recovered from that stutter thing earlier, okay. Um, I was struggling, I, I didn't have, I knew what I wanted the light to be like, but I wasn't exactly sure how it would be. Pretty much I had the whereabouts of the light vaguely figured out, but hadn't actually like drawn in an arrow or anything to be like this is where the light is coming from so that you know where how to shade instead of just winging it which is what i did and then struggled a lot um but we eventually get there <laughs> I don't really have anything specific planned for the background, so I'm just going to try and put the light uh, effect, or the, well, the ray of light coming in from the angle that it's it would be from for Nemo's lighting, uh, and then I gave the background a bit of a blue because. He is, Nemo is a fishy. So, fish live in water. Water is generally associated with being blue. So, he gets a blue background with some light. Um, makes sense. And I didn't, I didn't have a plan for the background, so I just went with uh, two block colors and hoped for the best. Anyway. That's it for today. Tomorrow we start drawing Marlin. See you then. Have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching.